Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Contrast from Victor Sands. What is Contrast? Basically, it's a torn card effect. Uh, a card is selected, signed, and then folded. Uh, one little corner is torn off. And then depending on how you go with the trick, uh, you can either change the entire color of the back of the selected card, or you can just change the color of the tiny torn piece. You wanna see what it looks like? This is it. Scratch everything you know about color changes and torn card effects. This is a visual single card color change that seems impossible even for magicians. From the mind of Victor Sands, we bring you a fresh eye catcher that looks utterly impossible. This is Contrast. Imagine leaving an unexplainable souvenir in your spectator's hands to take away with. The spectator signs the card and even tears a piece off right before the magical moment. You know there's only one corner for one card, right? Check this out. The rest of the card visually changes into a contrasting color. You immediately hand everything out to your spectators, leaving them in disbelief of what they just saw. And the weird thing is to put that back in and see if it still matches though. And your signature. Signature and show to the camera, tell them what happened. You can even change the torn piece that's inside the spectator's hand. Oh my god! Put that back on, see if it still matches with your signature. Oh my god! Check out your signature. Is that your signature there? <laughs> this is the color change for this day and age. All right, so that was Contrast from Victor Sands. You might remember Victor Sands also did Inca Change. Uh, this is done from Sands Minds Magic, and so on this DVD, uh, it's kind of like other Sands Minds uh, DVDs where Jason does all the live performances and then Herman does all of the explanations uh, in the DVD menus. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic products, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get two things. You're gonna get your DVD, your DVD's 43 minutes, and it's gonna offer you two ways to perform this effect. You're gonna get kinda get two tricks in one. And you're gonna get a very well-made gimmick. Is it what I thought? Uh, you know what, I really didn't have any idea well, what to think on this one. Saw it uh, in the trailer, thought it was amazing, wanted to look at it, had no possible idea about how this was done. Was really pleasantly surprised when I received this, taking out the gimmick, looking at it, just being blown away by the gimmick. It's a, it's a really crazy cool gimmick and I think you'll like it. How are the angles on this? They're very good. You know, for a torn card effect where you're folding cards and there's, you know, possibility of flashing, uh, it's really uh, got really great angles. And so, uh, again, couldn't recommend this more. Uh, really cool effect. Can it be inspected? Uh, at the end of the trick, there shouldn't be anything left to inspect. You are gonna do some ditching, um, but that shouldn't be a problem for a seasoned card person. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Hey, it's everything you'd expect from a Sans Minds video. It's shot in HD, it's well lit, it's got good camera angles, it's got uh, good microphones, lots of different uh, kind of ways to look at the presentation. Uh, like I said, there's live performances, tons of Q&A, tons of tips, great DVD all around. Is the gimmick well made? It's very well made. In fact, I wouldn't even want to make this myself. I don't even, I mean, I have an idea about how they made it, but I, I would not want to make this. So I was very glad that Sans Minds gives you a completed gimmick. How much practice does it require? It will require some practice. I would say, even though this is not a torn and restored magic trick, it's still gonna require the same amount of practice that you would put into a standard uh, card trick where you fold a card into quarters and begin tearing corners off. I think even though it's not a TNR, it's still gonna require the same amount of time and practice that you would put into a TNR. Still the same kind of um, methodology as far as how you would practice, watching your angles, um, going through your routine. I think all of that would still apply to contrast. How much setup and reset is there? Um, there's actually very little. Um, there is some advanced prep work. You're gonna need extra cards, obviously. Um, and, and so that's 
that's a given. Uh, there is one variation to this trick where, uh, you know, the corner changes color. That's the impossible souvenir ending. That does require some arts and crafts, and those are extensive. Um, there's a lot involved to that. Um, changing the color of the three-quarter back, that's a much easier trick. Uh, changing the color of the tiny little corner, uh, that takes a, a lot of advanced prep work and you will have to make some crazy uh, gaffes for that. Positives, what are the positives to contrast? Multiple methods taught, mentioned that. Lots of advice, lots of tips, mentioned that. Great plot twist. Uh, I think that when you start doing this, especially if you start doing this to a magician or someone who's already seen a standard TNR trick, uh, they're gonna expect the card trick to go a certain direction and then you flip the table on them and it goes a whole different direction. So great plot twist to the standard TNR. I think if you do TNRs right now and that's something that you like, I think you'll definitely love contrast. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives to contrast? Like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, obviously, with a TNR that involves gas, the trick's gonna be a little knacky, okay? It's gonna be a little dirty. That's just how these go. This is that's just the nature of these. Um, the flashing probability is probably high. I only say that because what you're doing is a color change. You're going from red to blue or from blue to red or, or whatever you wanna do. So, so the possibility that you could flash your reveal color early, that's high, okay? And I would say that would go with any color change. So you need to practice your angles, you need to practice your timing, and make sure you get that down uh, to a minimum. On the DVD also, there is one thing that uh, Herman says is that uh, when you are in performance mode, you probably need to pick your surroundings so that you're not in a setting that's really, really quiet. Um, you probably want a little ambient background noise, like a party, or traffic, or a club, or a restaurant with you know clanging plates and stuff. Um, I'm not saying that contrast talks, but um, it, it has the probability to talk, and so you might just want to pick your settings on that, and that might be a negative for some. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, contrast is thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars for a forty-three minute DVD. Okay. That's really good, and you're getting an incredibly well-made gimmick. So I would say it's definitely uh, worth your money. I think if you take care of your gimmick, it'll last you a really long time. Almost an hour of instruction. Uh, who can't beat that? Uh, great product from Sans Minds Magic. Who would like this? Fans of color changes, fans of TNRs, people that like really creative card tricks, I think would definitely like contrast. All right, so that is my review for contrast from Victor Sands and Sands Minds Magic. We'd like to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we can review it for you. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic supplier. Thanks. Bye.